Few countries in the world have permafrost, but Canada has 4 million square kilometers of it. 40% of this country's landmass sits atop the frozen layers that have held carbon for eons, but are now threatened by climate change. The permafrost is warming at a rate of two to three times faster than the global rate of increasing air temperatures. As the surface layer begins to thaw and intersects this ice ridge layer. For scientists like Scott Dalimore, permafrost emissions, while not man-made, must be dealt with. The natural sources of methane and CO2 release have been overlooked. And the key area that's been overlooked is in the permafrost areas. Permafrost exists under the land and below the sea floor. Centimeters beneath the soil, permafrost can be one meter or several hundred meters thick. As it thaws, plants decompose and carbon dioxide is released. The melt destabilizes the coast. Landslides are quickly eroding the shores, with similar marine slides under the ocean. And methane, long trapped in or under the ice, is also being released. Methane is a more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide and is now bubbling up all over the north. The impact has been dramatic in coastal communities like Tuktoyaktuk in the Northwest Territories, where thawing is destabilizing roads and homes and the ocean is accelerating the erosion. Communities like Fort Simpson are experiencing sinkholes. The land is changing like dramatically. So infrastructure can be the roads, so permafrost melting can uh, upset road, road maintenance. This will also change uh, the dynamics of how the wildlife are moving around. Permafrost was supposed to be permanent. Now scientists and the people who live in the north have to rethink everything from coastal and land management to the health of people and wildlife. In terms of the community, in terms of the north, the emphasis on adaptation to climate change and adaptation to changing conditions in permafrost uh, is an essential priority. This time lapse from researches in Alaska shows several meters of coast washed away in little more than a month. It seems northern countries have a new and urgent climate burden to take account of what's happening with permafrost. Canada has the second largest endowment of permafrost on the globe. Our responsibility as a country isn't modest in this regard. What are the overlying sediments? On top of curbing man-made emissions, Canada will need to look at how to track the natural emissions across a vast and warming Arctic. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.